Who's going to be the least useful Pokemon to me in New Mallville? Deli Bird. 100%. I don't even know why I asked myself that question. What's going on, everybody? It is Nexus Complex. And this is another episode of the Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke with me, Nexus Complex, your host, on this journey of depression and sadness as all my Pokemon get fainted. But in the last episode, it was a good episode. No one fainted. We got a badge from our father. And then Wally's parents said, thank you for saving my child. You stopped his crippling depression, and I'm assuming like crippling cancer with your friendship. And my friendship magic made the difference. We got HM3. Which I think Rhyhorn can learn. We might take advantage of that to try to add... I can't. Okay. I thought he was like one of those weird Pokemon from Gen 1 that could learn Surf, even though like a rock type. Alright. So we need some encounters, because our team is pretty beat up. And now, we gotta figure out... Where we want to go next. A Weedle. I should have probably healed, but I think we'll be okay. I think we gotta surf somewhere. So I may have to withdraw one of our fallen comrades from the box and surf on their corpse to where I need to go. Yeah, that might be what I have to do. Because none of our party that's alive can learn surf. But I know I've got like three in the box that can. God, that battle with Flannery was fantastic. Will you please stop and uh, leave me alone, Mill Tank? I fainted so many of you at the beginning of this game. Leave me alone! Seems like one bug catcher that I forgot. Yep, yep, here it is. The one bug catcher I forgot to knock out. If you take bug Pokemon to school, you'll be instantly popular! He says to the gym trainer that has five badges. Cascoon! Alright, Misha. Do your thing. This poor child. He's just like happy to have Pokemon and then I run through here with like level 30s and 5 gym badges and I just ruin his dreams. He's like catching these Pokemon so he can be like liked at school and I'm just like, fuck your Pokemon. They're fainted. Out of my face, Bugcatcher James. You're beneath me, sir. No. No. I don't want to rematch with you. Mock bike. Boom. think. Don't we have to go to Mauville and then surf to the right now? I think that's where the next town starts off. Man, I'm so depressed that we didn't get a Quilava here. That would have been so cool. That would have been so cool. And we need encounters now, so you know. I wish I had some repels. Oh, Soul Rock would have been cool too. Come on, leave me alone. What? We could have had a pillow swine? Oh. There's so many good Pokemon in this stupid little cave that we could have ran into. Besides the Wizmer that we did.
And then there's a Mischievous. Okay. So basically, like, so many cool, better Pokemon were in there. And we just got, like, the worst one we could have gotten. Tight. Alright. No! Why are these trainers in my way? You're gonna have, like, five Pokemon. Damn it! Alright, Misha, just knock everything out quickly, please. This is an awesome episode. Just running through, like, a bug catcher with level 6 Pokemon, then fighting a breeder with level 11 Pokemon. I'm sure people are just on the edge of their seats right now. And I'm sure there's so many backseat players that are just like, what in the hell are you doing? Why don't you have repels, you stupid idiot? And to those people, you are 100% right. I need to do better. But not today. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think Misha can hit Ghastly. Hidden power maybe hit? Nope. All right, so Otis it is. That's right. Be scared of Otis. Otis is a beast. Oh, man, I really need to catch some better Pokemon to pick up the pieces of this team. This team was actually pretty sick. Like, right after Mauville Gym. We were looking really good. And then Flannery happened. And we were somehow able to pick up the pieces of this team. Thanks to Vino and Otis. To continue this journey. Rhyhorn was an okay capture. It could be a good Pokemon. But ultimately, we lost a lot of good captures. I'm so tired of registering everyone in the Pokenav. I'm not going to come back and battle any of you. I hate all of you. Every single one of you. Alright. So I need to go here and I guess withdraw. Oh, here's Watson. What does Watson need? New Mauville, huh? Alright. So we still need to surf. But now we get the chance to go to New Mauville. Who's going to be the least useful Pokemon to me in New Mauville? Delibird. 100%. I don't even know why I asked myself that question. Alright. So Delibird's gone. So we're going to withdraw Kappa, who never got to flourish because I killed him way too soon. And this, kids, is why you don't release all your Pokemon during a Nuzlocke, simply because you might need to surf on a dead body later. Alright, so what we need to do, we need to faint Kappa so I don't use it. So I'm going to have to let him get, like, beat to shit by something. So I run into a trainer battle, I'm just going to let Kappa get fainted. So I don't use him anymore. Unless, of course, we get an encounter while we're surfing. And we get a water Pokemon, and then I'll just deposit him and use the Pokemon that we capture. So. There's a double battle there, Route 118, that goes further. So, let's go surf for Watson here. 
We've already got an encounter on Route 110, so we can't do anything here. But, New Mallville is an encounter that we can do something with. Pelipper! That'd have been a cool Pokemon. So this is New Mallville. I'm gonna put Kappa in front so you can get fainted or whatever. Alright, so here we are, New Mallville. Here's our encounter. Please do something good. Hitmontop! Cool with that. Hitmontop's a cool encounter. Cap, I guess I'll let you fight it, because your whole plan is to get fainted. So, let's see what you got, bud. This is probably against, like, Nuzlocke rules if someone's being a stickler, but... I'm just trying to get Kappa fainted. If we capture the Hitmon top, then cool. So let's see if we get lucky and capture this Hitmon top. It'd be a nice addition to the team after some of the things we've lost. Another triple kick. Nice. Lighten Kappa up with the triple kicks. Alright, we got him on top. Hit on top, the handstand Pokemon. Its technique of kicking while spinning is a remarkable mix of both offense and defense. Hit on top travel faster spinning than they do walking. We're gonna name him Cap, short for Capiora, which is the fighting style that he is uh, based off of. Should not be in box two. Box two is the faint box. So now we gotta turn on this damn generator. There's a clay doll. All right, Kappa, go get fainted. there goes Kappa. So now I can't use him anymore, and that's exactly what I want. Can't escape, so now I'm gonna go out here and beat something up. Alright, Otis. Let's do it, bud. Yeah, but this thing doesn't want to fight now, does it? Goodbye, Claydol. Thank you for coming. Alright, now to find that generator. Hmm, Houndor, that'd have been cool. Him on top is an interesting capture, though. I like it. I think it'll be good on the team. Just sucks we already got a fighting type. I really wish I had a rappel right now. Should have bought some. Just talking about it. <sighs> Abra, that'd have been sick if I could capture that. But that'd have just been throwing a great ball, probably missing it, and losing your encounter immediately. 
We're about to move Otis out of the way because it's Intimidate is making this even more drawn out of a process than it needs to be. So let's just put Shayna up front. Alright. God damn it. Jinx! That wouldn't have been terrible either. I'm not a big fan of Jinx, but... It would have been an okay capture. Psychic Ice is pretty good. Could have used it. Come on! Just let me get through here! I don't even want to fight you guys! Bro! I'll just kill you super quick! Just leave! Why are you raising your attack, bro? So maybe Rock Blast you- oh my gosh. Alright, I'm gonna Rock Blast you and kill you. You little bastard. If you poison me, so help me God. Shayna, kill this thing with your Rock Blast. Get the F out of here, Houndor. I ain't got time for your shit, Houndor. You little bastard. Just leave. Ugh. Jinx, I got time for you either. Come on, people, just let me leave. Pokeball, or is it an electrode? Claydol. Does Claydol no explosion? That could be a huge, huge problem. That'll be useful. Oh, these encounters are killing me. Can you please just let me leave? Shit. Jinx, let me get out of here, I swear to God. Alright, Otis, just, just end this. Please, just end this. I'm so done with this. Oh my gosh. I guess none of these Pokemon respect Shayna, like, at all. It's like, yeah, whatever, shut up, you idiot. Your brain's small as hell. You can't comprehend this. Shut your stupid mouth. Chansey. I'm glad we didn't catch that. But I do... want to fake this for the XP. Unless it's going to take forever, then I'll just stop. Let's see how much this stomp does. Okay, we're going to faint it. Alright, good job, Shayna. Taking those double slaps like they're nothing. Stomping on Chansey's face. Killing her. Good stuff. Should be big time XP. 947. Perfect. This is the generator, is it? Paralyze heal. Come on! 
wheezing. Shit. <sighs> Coughing and wheezing are awful for Nuzlocks because they always self-destruct. That is an Electrode or a Voltorb, right? Voltorb and Electrode are also very annoying for Nuzlocks because they self-destruct. The other one is probably a Voltorb, so we'll just leave it. There's the generator. Step on the button. We did it! We'll get this item and then we'll use the escape rope and get the hell out of here because I'm done with this place. Screw this place. Let me run. Come on, Jinx. Jinx, I hate you. I hate you so much. Just let my stupid Rhyhorn get out of here. Mm -hmm. If you kill my Rhyhorn, I swear to Christ. You piece of shit. You piece of shit. You mother f You piece of shit, Jinx. God damn it, that didn't have to happen. God damn it. <sighs> That's awesome. So we lose Rhyhorn for no reason whatsoever. Literally no reason. Cool. We'll tell this this asshole that his generator's off. Oh, thanks for Thunderbolt. I hate you. Well, I guess Hitmon on top comes onto the team real quick. All right, Shana. Well, sorry for that. Alright. Alright, Cap. You're on the team, bud. And I guess, so we don't end this note on a somber note and me cursing the game out, which has happened a lot recently, we will do that stupid double battle and surf across... and try to get another capture. So we'll get our encounter at Route 118. Hopefully it's a good encounter. But first we gotta body these two imbeciles and get past them. They've each got three Pokemon and they start off with Vileplume and Ninjask. But they're level 14, so, you know. So let's just jack these two up as fast as possible. Oh, you're gonna use sand attack? Come, come on. Really? Really, Ninjask?
Weeping Bell. Ninjask is now faster than Ivysaur. Ninja Esk is gone. I'm hoping Otis can hit through this sand attack. Trapinch! Hey, we battled a couple of you before. And there goes Weeping Bell. The Leap. Alright. Yeah, just go Lily, just in case this Razor Leaf doesn't kill both of those two. Alright. Trapinch is gone, the strength should kill Lily. And then they finish it off with a tentacle. It's taking up my time for nothing. Let's end this battle. Goodbye. Goodbye, Tentacool. So now we get an encounter in the water for Route 118. Oh, come on. We're at 118. Let's get our encounter. Please be something halfway decent. Dude! That is better than halfway decent. That is awesome. Okay, so. How do we not faint this thing? Vino. Dude, this whale reen is sick. So good. This is like so good. I just have to not faint it. If we capture this whale ream, this would be a huge, huge boost to the team. So I just drop my attack like crazy. I'm about to start throwing gray balls at it. It's, it's not going to kill Vino because it's got no moves. But also, I'm not going to like do any damage to it. I know it's Water Gun, but it's not going to do much to me. Alright, so I just got to basically use Wrap. Weaken it up. But I'm just going to start throwing Gray Balls, I think, after I hit this Wrap. Let's throw a great ball. Then we'll get to level this this girl up. Ooh, she broke out immediately. I just don't think I trust any of my other Pokemon to do ah, Cap Cap have like tackle or something and maybe not do much. Let's see. Intimidate. Free attack might not kill, come on. Okay, cool. Alright, but now I can't really do anything else. So, it's a great ball. Come on, Whale Rain. I need you. I don't think I have anybody that has any, like... I don't think I have anybody that has paralysis. Might need to put Shuckle back out here to do some more wraps. This is awful. <laughs> I should have gotten this counter 
Well, I guess there was really no way for me to get this encounter. Because I didn't have Surf, and I, I didn't get the Fishing Rod. But yeah, I guess I should have had this encounter a while ago. Anyways, this wrap hopefully hits. Whoa, that was a crit. Alright, I need this capture, like, now. Because it'll probably die for the next wrap. Come on. No! Please be freed from wrap. No, 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 no. Don't kill it. Okay, please, 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 please either get captured or get freed from rap. Come on. Come on. No! Get freed from rap. Damn it! Damn it all to hell! <sighs> Shit! It's been a trash ass episode, man. Ah, oh, dude. This episode sucks balls. <sighs> I think this will be a new route. That sucks. Well, we're going to call it an episode here. That could have been an awesome capture. Would have really filled a need for the team, but uh, I, I fucked it up. So, there we go. As always, everybody, I appreciate you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check me out on Twitter, at ComplexNexus. And I will catch you guys on the next one.